Hello friends, welcome to Diesel Life. In this series of pharma prescription analysis, today we will be discussing prescription analysis of cardiologists and diabetologists. Before proceeding further, we must thanks to SMSRC for giving us the data support for carrying out this data analysis. Friends, these two specialties, cardio and diabeto, are two very fancy short of specialties and probably highest number of divisions in the industry are in the cardiac or diabetic segments or we can say highest number of companies have the cardiac and diabetic divisions almost every company in the pharma industry wanted to have the leadership in this segment because these are the looking at size of that because when we look at say, uh, business point of view sales point of view cardiac and diabetic are the second and fourth largest segment of pharma industry and both of the segments growth rate are much better than the IPM growth rate so they become important. So today let us first start from the cardiac then we will come to diabetic. When we think of cardiologist prescription what cardiologist write or which are the specialty of the product a cardiologist prescription contain. The highest are obviously it is cardiovascular which are 27.71 percent of the cardiologist prescription are the cardiovascular products so being number one there is no surprise on that but they are only 27.71 percent when you look at number two which is the second highest segment of the products cardiologist write or their prescription contain it is GI which is standard 14.39 percent which means second highest prescription written by the cardiologist are of the GI product now general company may be covering but how many GI specialty divisions are covering cardiologist we will one need to see they are such a huge prescriber now whether they are writing PPI whether pro kind whatever they may be writing when you look at again third largest prescribing segment from the cardiologist it is the nutraceuticals 10.82 percent of the prescription of cardiologist contain nutraceuticals again Companies who are the cardiac uh, divisions or the diabetic divisions or maybe CNS division, they may be promoting some nutraceuticals, but there are certain companies or division who promote exclusive nutraceuticals, whether they are covering cardiologists or not. And being a specialist, their prescription have the longevity or the value. We need to look at how much important the cardiologists are for the nutraceutical companies also. Fourth place goes to diabetic and ob obesity category, which is 9.16%. Anyway, most of the companies are covering because they are kind of combined kind of segment. And friends, fifth segment which cardiologist writes are the pain reliever or ortho segment, which is 8.38% of their prescription goes to pain relievers. Again, general company may be covering, but companies or divisions who are promoting is exclusive ortho product or the painkillers. Whether they are covering cardiologists is the question mark where their prescriptions are 8.38 percent is a huge number and next so it goes to CNS drugs their 6 percent of prescription contains CNS drugs again a good number good longevity now how many CNS companies or CNS division covering cardiologists not many now whether they are writing the benzodiazepines or some other category of product but those prescription also have the longevity and I will suggest rather the CNS company should cover cardiologist rather than allowing cardiologist to write any anxiolytic or any CNS drug which they may, may not be very well aware of. So better to go and have that market. Next comes antibiotic 5.53% they may be covering and another segment friends comes to then respiratory segment which is 4.74% of their prescription contain respiratory product which is again a huge number and my again doubt is the companies or division who have exclusive respiratory products whether they are covering cardiologists is again a question mark and if they are not covering that's again a big number they are missing out and next comes to cough and cold 3.28 percent and then thyroid hormones 1.86 percent so that is how a cardiologist prescription it look like before proceeding further i remember one thing I was talking to some neurologist and maybe the cardiologist also in the similar way. When these doctors do their DM, they have to go through MD medicine. 
now there are a couple of institute including aims including demands there is a direct provision of after mbbs to dm neuro or maybe dm probably cardio also it's a five six year course so i was looking at how is a good idea it is to going to direct from mbbs to dm five six year course when i talk to this doctor they says okay, one should not go for these courses one must do first md medicine because once you do the md medicine you become the complete doctor it's not about cardiology or neurology or even uh, diabetology or endocrinology first you should rule out the different ailment a patient can have and then only you should treat for the whether it's a cardiology or maybe diabetology so what i'm trying to say is when doctor is the dm endocrinology or dm cardiology or dm neurology he is first a md medicine so all this specialty he can see and all this specialty i think we should promote to them another interesting things about this specialist doctor for them it's a brand recall value and the longevity of prescription is also there and it's a good roi to me it make good sense to promote different specialty product to the cardiologist or diabetologist i'll go the detail of diabetologist also which makes sense now coming to a diabetologist prescription how it look like any diabetologist obviously first choice will be diabetic product which is coming in 18.70 percent which is number one and has to be obvious to be the second place their prescription find place a cardiovascular drug that is 18.15 percent of the prescription has cardiovascular drugs again one can expect because they will be writing a lot of cardiology products also but third segment which comes to the diabetologist prescription is again gi that is 13.38 percent of prescription content gi product now we look at say diabetologist the third largest after diabetic and cardiac products are gi product and in the case of cardiovascular it is second largest after cardiovascular product is gi so gi segment of the products are very important to cardiologist also and diabetologist also and my apprehension is still remain how many gi specialist division are covering diabetologist also which is the huge prescriber and the third largest prescription they find is nutraceutical 11.48 percent which was even more than that of or almost little more than that years of the cardiologist which prescribed 10.82 percent so diabetologist cardiologist both become very good prescriber nutraceutical now how many nutraceutical company or division are really covering and promoting them followed by the fourth category fifth category goes to pain reliever which is diabetologist right 8.25 percent of their prescription again hardly i don't know any companies covering diabetologists or not work with ortho companies so these are remain an area which this company can cover they can get a business also because these doctor before doing dm cardio or dm endocrino they are basically md medicine even they prescribe after antibiotic 6.21 percent next category goes to cns product even cns product written by the diabetologist prescription are 5.18 percent again a good number cns in the case of cardiac was six percent so both are almost close to so for cns companies also it makes sense to cover cardiologist as well as diabetologist where not much competition is there good prescription recall value good roi and then respiratory product again 4.19 percent i doubt any respiratory companies are covering diabetologist so if you look at say cardiac and diabetic products these two these two specialty of doctors it's they're not only prescribing cardiology product or diabetology product but many other specialties and my appearance and my doubt is whether these specialty divisions or the company are really covering them where they can get a good business another important thing i want to highlight is when these divisions or these companies goes and meet diabetologist they does not expect more number of medical reps to be in the division because they are so spread that every territory there must be some cardiologist or some diabetologist so similar number of manpower you can meet them you you do not require much of the expenditure in the promotion expense also maybe you need to little bit educate them and your prescriptions are widely goes to widely number of you know chemist to your availability increase to me it's a very win win kind of situation for these companies or these specialties companies whether nutraceutical companies whether gi company whether ortho company whether cns companies or divisions or respiratory divisions going and covering cardiologist and diabetologist but last friends this is all your business all your call it's all your strategy my conclusion always remain that only 
when the data is available when the expert advice is available let us take an informed decision which suits your company so that your strategy is a customized strategy for you and an informed updated strategy thank you very much for watching us today we'll meet in the next video thank you for appearance